Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Robot Spirits Hayokushigi. This appeared in Zeta and Double Zeta Gundam. Yep. And I believe this is the prototype, also known as the Delta Gundam. And this one does not transform, from my understanding. Later on, uh, they made the Delta Kai, which does transform. So one of the earlier prototypes for Zeta Gundam. Yep, really cool. And it is piloted by Quattro Vagina. Or also known as Char. <laughs> Char in disguise. Anyways, uh, this is a really cool looking uh, Gundam. Although, uh, actually it is the Gundam. But uh, call it Hayuka Shiki. Here's the box art right here. Really cool. And uh, especially this one has gold. <laughs> it's uh, his anti-beam uh, coating. I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you are interested. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so inside we got a variety of uh, accessories. We have the backpack here which we'll attach in a bit. Your Tamashi stand uh, connector right here. You got well, including the ones, uh, the closed fist. We have four pairs of hands. You have the closed fist, the open hands, one for wielding the beam sabers, which are right here, and the one for the rifle or the clay bazooka. So we get the rifle here, bazooka, two um, beam saber, <laughs> and as well as oops, the alternate head, which has the red eyes. And I'm not quite sure what that is for. That's probably for uh, his targeting system, which is really cool. And I think that's it for in terms of accessories. Right, so uh, this is a really nice gold here. They even have uh, decals. Really great. And I think certain parts like the red here on the vents are painted on here too. It's a really nice shade of gold. <laughs> Starting with the head, the articulation is alright. <laughs> there is limitation obviously because of the shoulder here. But uh, he can look all the way down and until you pop that off. Probably cannot. Maybe look up just slightly up. Not so much. Yep. And uh, you have an uh, option to take this, take this antenna out if you want to. And this is actually a little bit fragile. It's not the flexible type. So be careful. There is an alternate uh, headpiece here, which you, technically you have a spare antenna just in case. I noticed that the camera on this one is <laughs> not the best. Um, hopefully I can touch up that uh, green. Yeah, a little QC issue. But this one has a really nice uh, red eyes here. Probably some, again, like I mentioned, it might be something for a targeting system. Moving on with articulation, the shoulder armor here is on a hinge. This part is movable also. You have a bicep swivel. You can move this whole sh shoulder up. Elbow bend is fairly good. Yep. And you get the wrist joint. I don't think this part here moves. It'll be nice. Usually they have this moving part here for the bazooka. And uh, in terms of the shoulder, you can also swivel it forward. And it's actually quite nice since uh, with this, you can almost touch the other shoulder. And that is quite a bit of articulation there. <laughs> really great. Now for the abdomen, you, can, you do have, a, you can actually push this down and have a little bit of up crunch. That uh, hinge there. Waist wise, fairly good. You got front skirts. Side skirt. And on the back skirt here. Now on the back skirt there's a kind of mounting ports here. I'm just gonna demonstrate one. You can put your beam saber hilts. I might as well do it both. <laughs> Gotta just drop it down. There we go. On the legs. And 
and uh, knee bend. Knee bend on this one. This one is not kind of like a floating knee uh, joint. I kind of wish it does, but uh, it's not too bad. Although this makes this whole leg uh, really long. <laughs> and you do have that ankle joint and a piston. Really nice. Get a ball joint right there. Yep. So this part does go in. Yeah, really cool. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for the basic articulation. And let's go over the backpack. All right, so we have this one here. There's a peg connection there, or actually the tab. We're just gonna slide this in and push on it. There we go. Then we have to realign this uh, the red hose over his shoulder. Just pegs it in there. There we go. You got this, the binders here are the wings, which can fold. Yep, and they're on a bull joint. Got thrusters here. I don't think they move at all. There's a little bit of wiggle, but that's it. Yep, quite nice. Alright, so uh, after this, let's go over the different the variety of hands and weapons. Alright, so uh, let's see here. Yeah, what if we try the beam saber? <laughs> so we're just gonna pop this out, swap this out. Turn that the ball joint. There we go. Same thing here. And it makes me wonder. It's great that they still give you a closed fist and the one for the beam saber, although they're really close. Yeah. <laughs> well, other figure lines, they just give you that and the open hands. And you only get a pair of hands, yep. Right, so uh, putting this on here, just slides in. This one too. Even his beam saber is molded in, or colored in gold. <laughs> That's a really cool effect, I guess. Everything is gold. That's why he does not need a shield. He has a anti-beam coating. And there we go. He with a dual wielding. I mean, there's a lot of pose, especially with the arm articulation. It's really nice. All right, I went ahead and put it on the stand here. <laughs> and I saw about the head. There we go. And uh, it looks great. Although, I'm not sure if you can see the red eyes. So. There we go. Yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah, I'll probably display him with uh, wielding those dual uh, beam savers as opposed to uh, wielding the cannon, but you can do that too. So let's go ahead and uh, take this out here. Pop this out. Might uh, swap out with this particular hand here. There we go. Alright. Do the same for the other side. We start with this one here. So bazooka or the clay bazooka. It's it's kind of it's quite simple. <laughs> Not much detail to it. And I think there is a gimmick which is right here. And uh, we can uh, pop this out. And uh, you have kind of like a I guess a way to hang it right there. So you can just mount on the back. Will be nice if there's two of them. <laughs> and I don't think Yeah. So there might be a merit of uh 
grabbing or having two of these. Hmm, interesting. Or then again, they're gonna have the Rick Diaz soon, so. I wonder if it's the same clay bazooka. Might be different. But there's an option to put it uh, back there. Or otherwise, have him build it. And I think it just slides in here. There we go. And I think he just uh, puts it puts it underneath his uh, armpit <laughs> or on the arm. There we go. You get the clay bazooka. Moving on, we have the rifle. Some uh, details on it. You get this red pipe. There we go. That's really nice. And that pretty much wraps up the review for the Hayuka Shiki. And I have to say, this is a highly recommended uh, robot damashi figure. It's amazing. Initially, at first, I'm not too fond of this really flashy gold. But after playing around with this guy, he's amazing. That gold is quite nice. As well as how articulate it is, I didn't really have much problem. And overall, really great. I like the finish, the paint app, the weapons. Yeah, overall, this is a really great figure to have. Alright, that's about it for the review. And I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you are interested. Otherwise, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.